Well, just moving on, I saw you were uh, uh, perched in the Morningside Arena a few days ago for <laughs> quarterfinals day of the World Grand Prix. Um, an excellent the morning side. A fantastic night of darts uh, and many players that you would have overseen during your time at the BDO and the BDO system really doing some damage in the in the PDC and a, a cracking night of darts. I'm sure you enjoyed it. I did. I mean, watching Danny Nopper at the top of his game again is brilliant to see, not just from a darts perspective, but he's had so much personal trauma in, in the last year with bereavement. I, I'm so pleased to see him playing at his best again. So... Yeah, we watched him win on that quarterfinal evening and Stephen Bunting as well. Um, I feel like he's winning games now that maybe two years ago he wouldn't be winning. He's hitting those crunched finishes and it's really great to see Stephen back in the form that, that he had when he became number one before he went to the PDC and, and took the Lakeside title. And, and of course, I'm sure you've already spoken at length about the success of the, the Welsh duo. Uh, you know, that was terrific to see. I found Gerwin Price interview after that quarterfinal quite bemusing, clearly upset by some areas of the audience. But I was in the audience that night and he had so much support. Mm. It, it felt like if the crowd felt 50-50, yeah. you know, and he, and he was quite damning of the audience afterwards, which I found strange because as much as he should be upset with those that aren't supporting him, I, I think he should be really pleased with those that were. Yeah, it must be a difficult situation for... Yeah. Going in the price because you you do obviously hear one yeah. voice out in the crowd often if it's a if it's a lot of booze it's something that you can get rid of but if it's one voice it's it's obviously a, a different thing it's it, it looked although at the start of the week it might be going away and we might not be hearing the booze so much for going but you say a mixed reaction on that quarterfinal night yeah, but I think he had a lot of support there. The semi-finals, of course, said he was impacted, wasn't he? But the final, again, the spirit seemed really good with the audience and on stage. So, yeah, I, look, he's such a brilliant player. And anyone that's a darts fan should be absolutely loving the fact that we have Gary and Price involved because he brings so much. Hmm. I just started to get your thoughts on, on the winner in Johnny Clayton, a player that maybe three or four years ago, he was sort of hovering around the top 32 and a player that... Yeah, he could go on a run to the quarterfinals, but he was not in the in the thoughts of, a, of people of winning a tournament. He's now a Premier League champion. He's now a Masters champion, a former World Cup champion, and he's won his first rank major in the World Grand Prix. It's a, a terrific story and a, a wonderful bloke as well. It really is. And you, we, we go cliche on this, don't we, about, you know, you couldn't meet a nicer fella, but Johnny fits that. Absolutely. And... What is it, Josh? I mean, confidence, I guess, because he's been a, such a capable player for so many years. And we know that there are dozens of other players that can play at that world class level. I just think it's confidence watching him progress over the years, you know, picking up a title a year from Pro Tour, you know, or the Players' Championships rather, you know, winning on the big stage. I think it was in Graz on the European Tour. That gave him a huge amount of confidence. And then I really believe that big win with Gerwin at the, the World Cup kind of freed him of any inhibition on the big TV stage. And now we've just seen the result. It, it's almost like he felt he had a free run at the Masters. And that confidence of the fact that he seemed relaxed, he enjoyed it. Again, I think he really enjoyed being the underdog in that final at the World Grand Prix. Um, he's not going to be the underdog for much longer, is he? Because he's just outstanding and and... Yeah, all credit to him. Brilliant. 100%. I happen to know that he was in work at 8am on Monday morning. Um, I wouldn't like to say, I'm not too sure what he was doing, but uh, being in work at 8am, carrying the trophy around, I'm sure it's, uh, you don't oh, see many God. players doing that, do you? <laughs> no, it's brilliant. And I loved his, I loved his double interview on Sky Sports as well. That, that You know, that he'd had the interview with the trophy and then as, they're doing the wrap up. He just stayed on stage. That that was brilliant with Emma and Wayne. I love that. Yeah, cracking stuff. And uh, obviously, you're off to, to Salzburg tomorrow for the European yeah. Championships. Looking mm -hmm. forward to another another four days of darts and some some different names in there. Obviously, the qualification criteria was a little different to what we've seen in previous years. But if somebody loses opportunity, then there's a new opportunity for somebody else. There is. I mean, the European Tour, I'm a huge advocate of, big, big fan. I, a lot of my work is on the European Tour as well, so you could call me biased, but I absolutely love the, the work there. Um, I'm not sure that they got it right this year in terms of the criteria, but 
having said that, they had to think on their feet because we weren't sure how many events there would be. And maybe I'd like to have seen the top 16 PDC players included and then the top 16 from the European tour. But you've rightly said opportunities for some that wouldn't normally have it. And, and look at what happened with Johnny. You know, when they when they extended the lineup for the Masters, maybe there's the opportunity now for someone to come through the field because there's a lot of talent there. Uh, it will be a great event. It's nice to have um, the extra day as well. But, you know, the second round is going to be a much longer format, which is not common. So that's going to be really nice. Um, and having done a couple of events in Salzburg last year, it's a great venue. So I'm hoping it's going to be a really nice tournament to watch. Fantastic stuff. Well, thank you very much for your time, Richard. Much appreciated for uh, putting up with my questions for the afternoon. I'm sure I'll be quizzing you uh, once again before the WDF World Championship first of the night of January 2022. Thank you very much for your time, and I'm sure we'll speak soon. Thank you, Josh.